The Ryzen 9 3900X is a beast when it comes to mining Monero. Now this is an update video using different parts from my previous video, and the most important part I did upgrade was the RAM. I gained a significant amount of hash rates when I switched from a 3200MHz CL16 RAM to a 3200MHz CL14 RAM. To sum it up, switching up the RAMs and with max overclock and stable settings, I was averaging above 15,000 hashes. And in my previous video, I did some initial testing with other parts and I was averaging around 12,300 hashes. And I'll have a link to that video on the upper right hand corner. So make sure you watch that video after watching this video. And big shout out to the Monero Mining subreddit community for helping me out. So thanks for tuning in. This is the life of the miner. So before I go into the hash rates and power draw, let's first check out the parts. The CPU I'm going to use is the Ryzen 9 3900X from AMD. Now I did upgrade some parts from my previous video. So for the CPU cooler, I'm going to use the Noctua NHD15 and this is one of the best CPU coolers on the market. The motherboard is an Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus with Wi-Fi and the memory is a DDR4 3200MHz CL14 RAM. And this RAM is called the Flare X Edition by G-Skill. And this RAM is made for AMD processors because it has tighter timings. It actually says it right there on the package. And I also want to share the different results using a 3200MHz CL16 RAM. Now this is the Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus with Wi-Fi motherboard. For the storage, I'm using an M.2 Kingston 120GB SSD. And for the power, this is an EVGA 750 watt G3 power supply. And this is the thermal paste I'm going to use and it's by Thermal Grizzly. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put everything together and this is the 3900X CPU installed in my motherboard. A few moments later. Okay, so now here's everything put together and for the case, I'm using a VETA mining frame. The CPU cooler is the Noctua NHD15 and this CPU cooler is quiet, but it's pretty big. The M.2 120GB SSD installed. And here's the EVGA 750 watt power supply. Now for the graphics card, this is the 1660 Super. But for now, the graphics card does not matter. I'm only going to test the 3900X CPU mining Monero. Now this is the backside of the rig and first for the memory, I'm going to test the 3200MHz CL16 RAM. And after testing with a 3200MHz CL16 RAM, I'm going to switch it up with a 3200MHz CL14 RAM. Let's go ahead and now turn on my rig and check this out. Okay. 
Okay, so now let's jump into Windows, and as of right now, for the memory, I'm using a 3200MHz CL16 RAM. And to monitor my CPU temperatures and check out the overclock settings, I'm going to use the AMD Ryzen Master. And the minor program I'm going to use is called XMRig version 5.3.0. And XMRig had an update that added native MSR support for Windows, so updating my minor program, my hash rate did increase. But for now, let's check out the hash rates without doing any tunings. Though this is if you just install the miner and without enabling huge pages in MSR mod. Let's go ahead and now check this out. Now I was averaging around 9,470 hashes, but because I'm using remote desktop and remoting in, I'm losing a good amount of hash rates. But I'll show another clip after this showing the true hash rates but the visual is not too great because I'm recording from a camera, but let's check this out. You gotta put your past behind you. Look, kid, bad things happen and you can't do anything about it, right? Right. Wrong. When the world turns its back on you, you turn your back on them. That's not what I was told. And maybe you need now let's make some adjustments in Windows. So let's enable huge pages and MSR mod, and this is still using the 3200MHz CL16 RAM. Now starting the miner, I was averaging around 11,920 hashes. And again, I'll show another clip without me remoting in, after this, showing the true hash rates. So let's check this out. Let's go ahead and now switch up the memory to a 3200MHz CL14 RAM. Now starting the miner and just switching out the RAM, I was now averaging around 12,470 hashes. And with the CL14 RAM, I'm able to tighten my timings and boot my computer compared to the CL16 RAM explained in my previous video. But let's go ahead and check this out. Now let's jump into the motherboard BIOS and do some overclocking. So on the first startup screen, keep smashing the delete key until you get into the BIOS. Now I did already update the motherboard BIOS and did some basic and quick overclocking. All I did for the memory was enable DOCP that adjusted the memory frequency to 3200 MHz. And for the CPU clock speed, I set it at 4100 MHz and I set the voltage at 1.2. Now setting your voltage around 1.1 or 1.2 shouldn't be too bad if you have a decent CPU cooler. So this should be the ideal voltage to set it at. So now jumping back into Windows and starting the miner, I was now averaging around 13,420 hashes. So let's check this out. Now doing some advanced overclocking, I'm going to use the DRAM calculator to get the best timings for my RAM. Now to check out what RAM I'm using to use for the DRAM calculator, I'm going to use the Typhoon Burner. So back into the motherboard BIOS and going into the DRAM timing controls, here is basically what I adjusted. Now I did get all these figures from the DRAM calculator, so definitely check that out but I only used the DRAM calculator up to TWR, as you can see. Now, because of the CL14 RAM, I'm able to set my timings this low and boot my computer compared to using the CL16 RAM in my previous video. So going back into Windows and running the miner with the DRAM calculator timings, I was now averaging around 14,550 hashes. So let's check this out.
So now checking out the power, my rig does idle around 45 watts. The 3900X mining Monero with these overclock settings, I was averaging around 200 watts. So the CPU itself was pulling around 155 watts. But since you can technically only have one CPU per motherboard, you should consider the whole rig using power. Now jumping back into the motherboard BIOS and checking out the max overclock settings and keeping it stable, I set the CPU clock speed at 4325 MHz and set the voltage at 1.35. Now because I do have one of the best CPU coolers, the Noctua NHD15, putting the voltage this high is no problem. My CPU will not overheat. I can actually overclock and push the CPU a lot higher if I wanted to, but the temperature and power increase was not worth it. So now jumping back into Windows and running the miner, I was now averaging around 15,030 hashes. So let's check this out. Now for the power, the rig was pulling around 254 watts, so the CPU itself was only pulling around 209 watts. Now if you did want to check out the best power saver settings I tested, in the BIOS I set the CPU clock speed at 3600 MHz and set the voltage at 1.0. So back into Windows and running the miner, I was now averaging around 12,780 hashes. So let's check this out. And for the power, the rig is now pulling around 142 watts. So the CPU itself is only pulling around 97 watts. Alright, so thanks for checking out my results mining Monero on the 3900X and definitely get ran with tighter timings if possible. Now it will cost you a little more but in return you will gain a significant amount of hash rates and I will have a detailed video guide about how to mine Monero on your CPU so stay tuned. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it, sub if you decided to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining.